Good? Yeah. Do I look red? No, you're red. Mm -hmm. Very good. Every day you look more alive, and I know you, I can tell like you don't feel it. Yeah, I mean, I do like one person, like every day, but... Let me know if you need to stop, though. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, don't do too much. That's one thing she does way too much of is to doing too much and she like runs herself down faster. So if you need to stop, let me know. Okay. Actually, you want to do an intro by myself? No, I want to do it with you. <laughs> I haven't done an intro in like five videos, I feel like. Uh, Alright, three, two, one. What's, What's going on, Murphy? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, turn on your post notifications, and join the family. <laughs> Montana wanted to give you guys an update on how she's feeling post surgery. Um, it's actually one week today. Yep. Uh, we also wanted to answer some questions and just like respond to some things that we've seen. You guys had a ton. A ton of questions. I yeah, I, just scroll, just scroll. Look, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah. Look at all the questions, y'all. You guys went crazy. No, no, no it goes like y'all. It goes. Yeah. <laughs> it goes, y'all. Like, so we're obviously not gonna be able to get to all of them today. But, but or first, maybe ever. <laughs> before I get into all the questions, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love. Seriously, when I say you guys have been flooding everywhere like i can't keep up i just want to thank you guys as a whole if you've left any comments prayed thought about me wished me the best recovery like everything i just love you guys so much and thank you for being the best family and allowing me to heal i do want to say this we're doing a giveaway i want to say this now so that they have a chance to be a part of it but okay. We're doing a giveaway. Montana for my birthday bought me two Drake tickets. Obviously, I'm not going to go without her. Um, and they were very good tickets. Very expensive. I want to give them away to one of y'all. So all you have to do is go follow our Instagrams. They're really good tickets. They're like front row type shit. So go follow both of our Instagrams. You have to like this video and comment on this video too. We're going to check to see if y'all following us on Instagram if you commented on this video. Yeah. And liked it. Yeah, so if you live close to to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, South Florida area. It's gonna be at the Amaranth Stadium on March 23rd. So you guys have like two days. We're gonna post the winners on our Instagram stories. Y'all go have fun for us. How you feeling? That was the biggest question. How you feeling? Yeah. So I don't have like the extreme headaches how I had I'm in the hospital. Now it's mainly like the lingering pressure headaches that aren't like too bad. They're like the annoying ones. Mentally, it's been hard. Oh my god, I just want to go back to my life. Yeah. But I can't. Just now starting to be able to every like day-to-day -day things to like a minimal. She can't like bend over. She can't put no pressure to her head. So pick yeah. up heavy things. She can't pick up anything over like 10 pounds. She can't like bend over, mm -hmm. um, pick up anything from like the floor. She has to like kind of stay up and like almost yeah. like move as a robot. Ice packs have been keeping her yeah, if well. I just do this, I'm not like in pain. It just like, uh, I don't know, it just like soothes me. She's also trying not to take any medication as in like painkillers for it yeah. because it's like really strong. We don't want to say what it is because just, they might take this one down too. Um, it's just a time thing. It's just, yeah, it's Every day she, she's just better. Yeah, they, and that's what the doctors told me. They told me that like time is going to be your best friend. Like, time is the only way that you're going to actually, like, fully heal from this. So that's why I'm trying to, like, give myself grace because now being home, I'm like, I have work to do. Like, I have, like, things and deadlines and things to think about and things I want to get done and ways that I want to take care of myself. And it's like... But at the end of the day, she does need to realize, like, she's only been... It's only been a week. Yeah. So you have to, you know, give yourself some some time give yourself yeah. some some credit like of going through this far like yeah all i can say is that being one week out i'm so grateful that i'm even where i'm at right now like being able to get up in the middle of the night on my own and like go pee and then come back to bed and the first or three days of us being actually back home I was needing to help her. Yeah. But the past three days, she's been doing everything pretty much, like getting her own drink, um, yeah. getting back in like the flow of like that. So it's just a time will tell. Is your bruising still show? Yeah. 
Like her bruising was oh so gosh. bad. Like her like, arms. I wish that you guys could. I'll pop up a picture. Yeah. I'll just pop up like a picture. Really so bad. her bruising was super bad from the, like the amount of times they had to stick her for to take blood to IV. She like was just so limp for like two of those days, three of those days where she just couldn't move her arms because it was no, so it was sore. Crazy. It was like the craziest thing. Ever. There was one point where I had four IVs in me at one time. I had both of them here and I had two in my hands. Give me little like shots for like blood thing and insulin. I don't know if you can see what they I have all yeah. these like pricks in my fingers because they had to like like manage my blood sugar, everything. Like everything that I didn't know goes into what I was like doing was like absolutely crazy. It was definitely way more than I thought it was gonna be. Feel like I take pain a lot worse, but it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot more honestly than I expected, I would say. Like, yeah. It wasn't the worst type of surgery you could have had, but no. the effects of it yeah. definitely, I thought it was gonna be easier than what it was. Yeah, cause like in the ICU, when I tell you I had a nurse next to me almost every minute, like if I wasn't sleeping, I had a nurse in there. Even when I were, whenever I was sleeping, they were coming in, giving me, taking my vitals, blood, uh, new drip, pain medication. I had to get them a pee. They had to like take everything off me. Like I was peeing in this little like um, like chair. It was just really a lot. I cannot thank the University of like Miami doctors and nurses and my surgeon for taking such good care of me. Because honestly, I feel like going through something like that can be really traumatizing or hard to get through if you don't have like the right doctors how did it the surgery go do you have a scar which i don't even think i checked but like explain how the surgery went because i think some people were a little confused yeah. on, on that so technically it is considered like a brain surgery so when you think of brain surgery like you think of like shaving your head. This like, was the best case scenario for a brain surgery, I would say. Yeah, definitely. It was technically not on my brain, but it was on my pituitary gland. So your pituitary gland is right behind your nose. And so luckily with this surgery, what they could do is they went through my nose and you have a, a bone at the base of your nose that they can that they can drill through and get access to your pituitary gland. So he was able to like go in there and scoop it out, clean it out. So if she has a like scar this. maybe inside of her nose, like up here. Yeah. Because they put the gauze like, or like the padding like super high up, like up here. So they must have <sighs> went all the way deep into here uh -huh. in her nose and then got into the brain because it's sitting right here. Like where it's sitting right here. The, yeah. the, the, the tumor was sitting here, uh -huh. like inside though. And, um, I think they went deep up because when they pulled the, the whole thing out, like I have a video of it. Ryan! The, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's making you queasy. Yeah. But it guys, was a lot to watch. No, I had to get up. The reason why it makes me queasy is because I can like feel it. Yeah. And I can hear my nose like crack. Yeah, if you would have thought about oh. it, if you would have saw it, oh. Y'all, it was crazy. I'm here to take out your casting. She's like, okay, I'm gonna do it in a brisk, brisk motion because. He <laughs> said. And she was like, Rrr. When I tell you, like, a foam like this came out, yo. <laughs> like, I don't even understand how they stuffed that in there. Like, it was like this big. I was just not expecting it. And then I, ha I didn't eat for like three days. Like, come on. Give me some crazy. <laughs> they didn't have to shave her head. Yep. They went through um, my nose. So that's why nose. I sound like this. Y'all, this is the cutest I was gonna get for you guys today. Can you smell or taste? I can taste, yes. It has to be a really strong taste and really strong smells right now. You guys can kind of hear that she's like stuffy. I'm just congested because I can't blow my nose. They told me to do like nasal rinses and it makes me so sick. Oh my God. You have I, to like, do it though. I know. You have to do it. Oh, it's you so if you want bad. me to do it, I'll do it. Like, but you, you throw have up. to. No, you have to do it though. <laughs> I know. Going into the surgery, were you really scared? Because I, <laughs> I didn't even get to show them it, but it, you were like... It wasn't until like last minute. It hit you, right? Yeah. I was literally like, I'm strong. I came this far. Like, we're here. Like, thank you, God. Like, kind of like relieved. And then when they were like, all right. And they put up the little like, uh, all, all, like this is all I remember. Because I was shaking. I started shaking in the bed 
and my uh, anesthesiologist was like, I'm gonna give you a little something to calm you down. Um, and she put it in my IV. I started like getting relaxed like pretty fast. Um, and then they like put up my little like sides of my bed and then they started rolling, rolling me away. And like, it was like, Ooh. Like it just, it, it just like really like came over me. Like being scared to like leave you and absolutely praying for the best. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Cause like you as my partner, you know, it's my whole life. Mm -hmm. For you to go into the surgery, it's like... What were you feeling in that moment? I was trying not to show it as much as I could because... But it just hit me. Like, I couldn't even control it. Like, when I was just sitting there, I couldn't even control it. Yeah. It just, like, came out of me. Yeah. Um, but whenever I, like, rolled away, like, what were you thinking? Were you still, like, emotional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just praying. Yeah. I was just praying. Yeah. And that was it. Because at the end of the day, I knew it was in God's hands. Mm. You know? Yeah. So I had my hopes super high. It's just the the, the surgery aspect yeah. is it's like Love. a gut wrenching kind of feeling. Exactly. You know, you never know. I yeah. So was... Montana was out cold yeah. for the, before she even got into the surgery room. Also, you guys are wondering how long the surgery was for, and it was for like about like four hours. Like between the time that they like put me under, like started that process. Yeah. And... Yeah. For me, it was five. There was no complications or nothing. It was just standard. Yeah. And how that surgery had to go. Yep. Didn't my surgeon tell you that he had to like really make sure that everything was out of there because it was like sticky? Yeah, but he did get everything out. So the tumor is out completely. Yeah. Were you able to move your body around or how did you, or did you have to wait a couple of days? After the surgery, that whole day into the next day, like midday, I was in the bed. Like I did not move. They had to put these like sleeves on my legs to compression every like 30 seconds because obviously like one thing that you have to like monitor when you're out of the surgery is like blood clots they had to like give me blood thinners and like stuff like that because like i was not walking like at all the day after that like mid mid morning mid afternoon whatever i had physical therapy so that was the first time after being in bed for that long i was probably in bed for an, like literally an entire 24 hours and they just wanted to make sure that I could like walk and move and talk and I had a lot of like eye tests and and uh, like mobility tests and stuff like that. So it was a lot of that because obviously like you're dealing with the head and I was in the ICU full of all the brain surgeries. So they have to go in there and like make sure that, you know, people are like functioning normally. Yeah. Oh, another thing that you guys asked was about the catheter. I did not know I was getting a catheter. Like, I did not know going into it, but it makes a lot of sense because they had to monitor my urine after the surgery because it's very common for you to go into something called like DI, and I wish I knew the correct term for it. But it's basically when your sodium is really high, your body becomes so thirsty and you're peeing so much when you're like basically peeing out water. Like your your pee has no concentrate to it. It's just like flushing everything out. And so obviously that's not healthy. So that's why they have to like monitor my pee. The catheter was only an issue whenever the next day when i like started to move around a little bit and i had a uh, physical therapy i had physical therapy with the catheter still in and it was like starting to get uncomfortable because i started to like feel it and i was like so scared to remove it like i kept asking all my all the nurses i was like when you remove it like does it hurt i was worrying for no for no reason because basically like what it is is like they have like a balloon inside of you and then they have to like deflate the balloon. When they pull it out, it's literally like pulling out a tampon. It was like not that bad. So if you're like, if you ever have to get like a surgery like this and you have a catheter, it's really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Do you feel a difference already? So I'm not gonna like feel a difference, especially right now. I'm still on a lot of medication. Like I'm on a steroid right now, um, antibiotics and other like other stuff that just helps my body deal with like the recovery so soon i'll have to do new labs to see basically how after two weeks post-surgery where my levels are at that'll really be able to show how fast my body is 
like responding to the surgery and the like tumor being gone because with the tumor that I had, my tumor was just like growing and putting pressure on my pituitary gland, which was causing so many bad things. But once they were saying that the pressure, like if there's no tumor they're putting pressure on anything, then like it's not gonna mess up anything. So now that it's not there, my pituitary is like, oh, like I'm good, fresh and clean. Now let me get my bot like let's start making the body run normally. So now basically like what I'm waiting on is my blood work done again and see where my labs are at. And then from there, it's more so of like, when will, when will I get a period? Because that's kind of my next like big sign that I'm gonna see is my hormones have caused so, so, so much. So over, it, this is like we were saying, it's all time because it's not like night and day. They did say, cause I was asking them about that timing. Yeah. Like when do you normally see patients start to get back to normal, their bodies back to normal. Um, and I remember them saying, you might get a period in a month. Yeah. Like she'll get her first period that her body actually cycled in. It wasn't forced by no other birth control and it wasn't, forced by no pill or up to six months and then they said i mean if her body is functioning properly another question was um was this surgery necessary for you to be able to have a family in my case it was for sure like 100 percent. there's so many cases of people having what i have that medication worked for them and you can get pregnant on cabergoline what i was taking cabergoline was making me so sick and they basically told me if you want to get pregnant while having this in i have to hire your dose and if you hire my dose i get more sick i don't know how safe it would have been for me to not be on camera going for nine months and it it was just kind of like a endless cycle of like it's just too many complications and that's why like i kind of just made the decision of like if it's not there it's not going to affect my body anymore because for a long time like Ryan and I really were struggling with like the thought of there's been times where I feel like we haven't been the safest but like there's never been like a pregnant sign sign yeah yeah so it really drew a lot of questions yeah what is going on I told myself you need to let go you need to let God do what he does and you need to listen to what you need to do and you might be scared but it in the in the end like it's gonna all work out. And this was like the only way that I feel like for our future and what we want for our family, like this was the best decision. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It definitely was, it's part of our story. Obviously it's rocky. Yeah, but, but we're right where, we know we're right where. We need to be. Where we need to be. You know, it's just good like, to know that you're, there's no complication now exactly yeah with being able to have a baby yeah you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it's like it's just like a breath of fresh air because it's like something that weighed on us for so long yeah. internally like like and it was like a battle internally individually because like i feel like i was stressing but we didn't want to have like too much of those like hard conversations yet because we didn't believe it you know like we didn't think that that was really i just knew that it 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 was more than just like oh i can't get pregnant like i knew that there was a reason and this was the reason it's funny though because it's like we had our wedding and then it's like oh how long after the wedding are you gonna have kids you know what i'm saying for us it was like no it's however long <laughs> we have the surgery yeah. <laughs> can we have kids after you know what i'm saying because I, I feel like the surgery thought was always in our mind Oh, yeah. It Without was saying anything. A lot of you were asking if the tumor was cancerous, and it was not. It, uh, he even called me after the fact, and he was like, it's uh, looking like it's benign. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Pituitary tumors, like, my surgeon, my doctors yeah. have said that, like, 99.9% of the time, it's very, 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 very rare to ever have, like, pituitary cancer. I would definitely say things have definitely been tough for the both of us i feel like because like when your whole life just like completely hits like a stopping point pretty much 
and it's like now we're rerouting and we're doing this and it's completely different from what we were doing like being thrown off definitely in like a struggle a little bit i feel like people like obviously they're thinking about me because i had to go through a surgery but i feel like some people are like is it a lot for you definitely yeah it definitely is like in what way <laughs> and always i'm seeing my partner not being able to move out of bed uh going through the surgery and then on top of it like i have i'm on the back end taking care of everything that you can't so now i'm picking up for you picking up for myself trying to keep myself afloat you know what i'm saying yeah um it's a struggle okay. yeah but um yeah i'm getting through it <laughs> Don't be. So bad. It's definitely a struggle, but you know, I'm I'm in it hundred and ten percent with her. So Yeah. Sickness and hell. Yeah, that 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 says something like getting me. I genuinely feel like the love that we have is it is like what is keeping me going. Like just like being around Ryan or like if he leaves and like comes home, like the feeling that I have of like just like having him like near me is what's getting me through this. Because he's like been so strong for the both of us and I know like I can see that it's not easy for him. And so I just want to want you guys to give so much love to him in the comments because he deserves everything. He's doing so much. He's like putting up with so much and like not complaining about it. I love you. Love you. Um, and we'll be thriving together. Yeah. That's honestly what I keep picturing is like all the things that she's going to be able to blossom to when you're healthy. Yeah. And like when you're better. I just miss you. I miss cuddling. I miss working out. <laughs> yeah, y'all. She's like sleeping up right now. Like she cannot sleep flat and we can't cuddle. Yeah. Things feel a little lonely. You made me sad. Sorry. 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 Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. I'm sorry. I miss you. You're right here. <laughs> Just to, like show you guys like how much like we're like best friends. Like we actually like genuinely do everything together. So it's like hard that I'm not here. You're gonna be though. Even better than what you were before. When we look back after we're pregnant with our first baby, we're gonna look back on this and that's just gonna hit it. Yeah. That's what I keep putting in my head um, to get through it. Also, it's like a test for me. How strong am I? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not that good with sharing my emotions <laughs> mm -hmm. in this way. Like how I'm feeling, that's hard for me to share. It's kind of like, you yeah. <laughs> know. Ryan. <laughs> so pretty much we're going to have follow-up appointments. Uh, we actually have one tomorrow for the next month. Like she said, in six months, is it? The MRI? Yeah, I think they do. I think they do. Do they do a month? Or do they just do six months? We'll find out. But yeah. she'll definitely have another MRI. Um, and then from there, it's on all on timing. On when she'll, her body will be yeah, fully, yeah, her body will be fully back to normal. So that's kind of what we're just gonna be waiting for is her getting her first period again. <laughs> Yay. Like we said, follow our Instagrams. We're gonna be trying to get back in the flow of posting. Just, yeah. you know, give us obviously some time. Yeah, obviously we're gonna be posting on here as much as we can. More like day to day stuff. I'm definitely gonna be on it on my Instagram story. So if you want to just see like more of us, like Instagram stories are where you're going to be able to find us. See you on the next video. We're going to work out. Peace. Peace.